Today, let us demonstrate how to repair damaged LED neon lights and how to solve the problem of poor contacting the use of neon lights, such as this neon light. After we connected it, we found that there was a bad connection unit. Let's test one of the colors. This is an RGB color changing neon light. After pressing, we can judge that it should be blue with poor contact. This unit has a blue LED that is in poor contact. Poor contact like this may be caused during transportation. It may also be caused by bending a neon tube during production or installation. Or when packing, bending a strip causes the pins of the LED as inside to disorder or resistance disordering. It is also possible that a certain IC or LED is damaged. If damaged, you need to replace this unit. If there is a bad contact due to bending, it is by by caused by the virtual welding. How can we solve problems like this? First, we have to prepare a utility knife, preferably a brand new blade. Then a bottle of glue. You can use 704 or 705 silicone glue. You can also use 502 or 495 hard glue. A pair of small scissors. A roll of cyan adhesive. Set of electric chrome tools. The tip of the electric drop iron is best to be sharp, which is convenient for repairing small parts. Rosin and solder roll. If you need to replace a unit, such as LEDs or chips that cannot be repaired, we need to have additional strip replacement units. Like this, every six LEDs can be cut. We can cut a required unit in the middle of the cutting mark. The solder should be added to these copper points before replacement to facilitate welding with another unit. The purpose of adding solder is to fuse the two units together faster. Ensure that the four solder joints are clear. When welding the old and new units together, pay attention to the direction of the positive and negative and the welding is clear. Okay, cut it after adding solder. This is the repair method for the replacement of the entire unit failure. Now let us solve another problem. First step, remove the adhesive on the back of the faulty unit. Remove as many ends as possible. Take out longer strips as much as possible to facilitate bending and maintenance. This adhesive is too sticky. We must make sure the surface is clean before use. Do not touch the adhesive surface with your fingers as much as possible. While stains on your fingers will affect its stickiness. If the fixed surface is not clean, it can be cleaned with alcohol before installation.
Okay, it's removed now. Confirm the exact point of the failed unit. Now let's break this neon tube from the back. Check carefully after removing the strips. Confirm which LED or resistor caused the poor contact. You can check under working condition. Press each part with your finger. Now we can confirm that it is caused by this LED. One of the pins has no contact. Pressing will cause the strips to flicker. Each LED has two pins, three positive poles and three negative poles. Poor contact of each PIN will cause one of its colors to not work. Because every Liu LEDs are designed in parallel, it will cause Liu LEDs to not work. This kind of failure only needs to add a little solder to the pins. Be sure to turn off the power before operation. Repairing the strip under working conditions will cause a short circuit and cause more LED damage. We can already confirm that it is caused by this PIN. The first PIN on the right makes poor contact. Did you see? Has fallen off. Now let's press this LED with our fingers. And then make sure that the pins are in full contact with the PCB. Add a little solder to the soldering iron. All LEDs, capacitors, resistors and chips are soldered on the PCB by SMD placement machines. The quality of the solder, speed, and time will affect whether they are firmly soldered. If it is caused by poor resistance contact, you can also use the same method to add solder to it. Now that we have completed the repair, let's test it. Still poor contact. Maybe the time is too short. Still bad contact. Let's do it again. Okay, now it's okay. Okay, no problem, yeah. Let's take a look after putting it in the neon tube. Test the white mode. If one of the colors fails, then white will show another color, such as yellow or pink. Well, it has okay now, it has okay to ban. Next, how do we repair this one? 
this neon tube has been destroyed. If it is installed outdoors, we recommend that you use Xilin Si or Xilin Wu silicone to make sure they are sealed. Apply silicone in this cap. After painting, let it solidify in the air for 15-20 minutes. Apply new adhesive after 15 minutes. If this item is only used indoors, you can use 495 glue or ignore this one. Cover the wand with sun and adhesive directly, which does not affect its functionality and waterproofness. So we have completed the repair. You can see the effect after repair. Very simple and very time saving. So sticky. Okay, no problem. Test again. This is the easiest way to repair. Disconnect the power. If this kind of neon tube malfunctions, we can still fix it using the same method. We can see that the light emitting direction of the strip is from here. If the contact is full or needs to be replaced with a new unit, we can also cut it from the back and take out the strip to repair it. This transparent thin line is designed as an extra long neon line for cutting or repair work. The repair method is the same as the previous one. This tab needs to be sealed with silicone glue. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us.